let me show you how to make the perfect CV with absolutely no experience. And let's get started by downloading my free CV template. Find a link in the description. You can skip this part of the video if you already have similar looking professional templates. But just so you know, these have perfect reviews and you don't need to pay me anything for it. Just add it to cart, enter your email address and click on get. Now, these ATS templates are my personal favorite, but the free templates are perfect too. So you can just continue without adding them. Then press open templates and you will be redirected to Google Drive. Let's open the single paged template. And before you can edit the file, you first need to log in to your Google account. Once done, go to file and hover over to download if you want to open it in Microsoft Word or click make a copy in Google Docs. Then go to your folder so you can select your own drive and we will change the name of this copy later on. Perfect. Next, I want to open a new tab and search for Google Gemini. You see, before we start writing our CV, I want to ask the chatbot, what is the best CV structure for job seekers with no experience? Press enter. Okay, so there are some slight differences in structure that we have to take into consideration. But first things first, let's start with the header section. And here's what you need to include. Your name, job title, or aspired job title, where you live, date of birth, phone number, email address, LinkedIn profile, and optionally a link to your portfolio, which could be your Pinterest, YouTube, GitHub profile, or personal website. Now, what you see here is a table. And let's say your LinkedIn URL is a bit longer than mine and you need more space in the cell to keep everything on two lines. What you can do is drag the invisible borders or play around with the line and paragraph spacing for better alignment. All right, that brings us to the CV summary or objective. And let's start by asking Google Gemini, can you give me an example CV summary and objective tailored to this entry level position? Next, head over to LinkedIn because this platform makes it really easy to search for internships and entry level positions. For this video, I've chosen this startup position at OpenAI as our example. Now, you will copy the relevant parts of the job description and paste them into Google Gemini. Add some brackets to mark the start and end points. Press enter. Okay, so these examples aren't perfect, but they are a great starting point. Now, what I want you to do is go to the description of this video and copy the CV summary prompt. Paste it into the chatbot and press enter. I use this prompt for structure and clarity, but we still need to click modify response to make it shorter and more concise. I would say ideally keep your summary between three and five sentences. This already looks like a solid summary. Now, I know most of you don't have any experience, but whenever possible, try to include measurable results that somewhat relate to the position you're applying for. So if you look at my final version, you will notice I included a metric and a time frame to highlight a results-driven approach, which shows your potential and willingness to contribute to the company. Now let's move on to the education section. Ask Google Gemini, can you write a CV education section tailored to this job description? First, copy the entire job description, including the required educational background and relevant keywords. Then paste it into the chatbot and press enter. As you can see, this helps the chatbot generate relevant coursework and additional information you can add to your education section. Now, if let's say your background differs from the educational requirements, you can ask it to match the job description to your qualifications. And this will give you an idea of which courses and skills are relevant to the job description. So even if you don't have any academic awards, publications, or a high GPA, you can still create an education section that looks something like this. In this section, I separated coursework, extracurricular activities, and certifications using these vertical lines. Now, most people don't include certifications that are directly related to the job role, which in my opinion is a missed opportunity since most of them are actually really easy to acquire. In this case, for example, you can just search for community manager certification and you will find several free introductory courses that you can complete. Take this one from Meta, for example. 
It's for beginners and takes just a few minutes to complete. Now, I know some of you may argue that such certifications won't hold much value. But listen to this, when you lack experience, recruiters view them differently. To them, it signals dedication to the job role and willingness to learn, which is super important to them. Next, let's dive into the skills section and start by asking Google Gemini, can you make a CV skills section tailored to this job description? Then simply paste the job description and hit enter. Now, what you will see might not initially look like a traditional skills section, but it's a fantastic way to identify key terms and understand how to structure your skills. For LinkedIn vacancies, you also want to make sure that you check at the bottom of the job post where they often list skills associated with the role. Now be sure to include those in your CV as well. Now, if you want a shorter, more concise example, you can modify the response further. In fact, you can even ask to make the section sound more professional. You see? Now, if you're still not happy with the result, try adjusting your prompt. For instance, ask, can you make a CV skills section for a community manager's role? Now notice how the technical skills lists actual tools frequently used by community managers. You can even get more specific by asking, can you make a CV skills section based on my proficiency with ChatGPT? This adds depth to your skills section, making it more tailored and relevant. And finally, here's what my CV skills section would look like based on the results I got from Google Gemini. I know it's quite detailed, but it's necessary especially if you want to bring substance to a CV without an experience section. For example, if the chatbot recommends you to add project management as a skill, don't keep it fake. Do a quick Google search to discover the most popular project management tools. If you're unfamiliar with them, try out some free versions. It's not rocket science. And it shows that you're eager to learn new technologies, which demonstrates your ability to adapt quickly to their systems. Okay, so that brings us to the project section. Now let's say we want to expand on the community management skills. First, remove the default text. Now I will paste in my social media channel project. Now to further demonstrate my dedication to the role, I'm also going to add some relevant book titles. So a quick search and a few days of reading can really make a CV without much experience more appealing. Now, if books aren't your thing, you could also include extracurricular activities, languages, hobbies, or interests. Just make sure they are relevant. Remember that employers typically spend only six to seven seconds scanning your resume. Also, be sure to keep everything to one page. For someone without experience, there's really no reason to go beyond that. Now, let's round things up by asking Google Gemini, what is the best CV file type to send to employers? And as you can see, Google Gemini recommends using PDF and also lists its advantages. Unless of course the job posting specifically requests a different format. Now let's continue by giving the document a proper name. Start with your first and last name, followed by CV. Then go to file, hover over to download and select PDF document. And just like that, you've got a simple, polished and professional resume. And that's how you make a perfect CV with no experience.